Hi guys, I got to show how to do loop test of this pressure transmitters. Now you are seeing that one pressure transmitters using there is a make is rose mode. Now to do the loop test, you should be know about that ranges of this transmitter. Now there is a one nameplate is there. That nameplate mention about that range. Okay, this is our range. So you should be know about that range. So in this there is a two cover is there. One is front cover, this is a front cover, there is a two switches there, one is simulation switch and the another one is security switch. And another one back side is cover is there, the back side cover have consists of the terminal, power terminal. So there is a positive and negative. Okay, positive as an orange wire, negative as a blue wire. So now you are seeing there is a one clip is connected to that power connector. So that is a 475 field communicator for to do pre loop and loop test you should be enable that simulation switch there is a one enable switch simulation switch is there i remove the switch there is a second switch this is our simulation switch okay so i reconnect again when you switch on the communicator there is a showing some menus on this display there is a field bus application sir. these transmitters the field bus protocol so we should be enable we should be select that field bus menu as this for sound field communicator now it is taking that online mode it will take some minutes there is a one warning message will come in this communicator you select the S it is a to asking the permit to enter the segment this instrument to connect to one se segment there is a lot of instrument is connected so it is reading the segment how many instrument is connected these are the these are the instruments has been connected on this segment so now our tag number is pressure transmitter so uh, PT462720 as our tag number now I select this tag number you can see the select using the through arrows the communicator just click the enter it is taking some minutes to read that all data from the transmitter when you enter that transmitter data there is showing some blocks there is a resource block transducer block 1 transducer block 2 transducer block 3 and analog inputs so our tag number with analog input we should be a enter this particular analog input to do the loop test once you enter that particular analog input there is a showing quick config common config and advanced config and uh, other things IO references and connectors so to check the range of this transmitter we should be enter that quick config that is showing some parameters of this transmitter so now you are seeing that there is a range of this transmitter as well as the nameplate the transmitters nameplate so there is a 0 to 15 bar is yes, uh, URV and LRV yes. and come to back and go to that advanced config here you are selecting the simulation simulation enable and disable now it is showing the disable mode now I put that active send the active now it is activated so as per that our loop test that the simulate simulate value some showing some value this is the actual value of this line to create that loop test now I apply the zero value select zero click ok here automatically zero will come click send now you are seeing there is a zero already sent to that DCS control room now display showing zero in DCS room so we are seeing that value of this display as well as that DCS side there is same value will show in connector section come to that back and select that advanced config now I applied that for 50 percentage to do the loop test now we have applied that 4 partition as well as 0 percentage 
25 percentage 50 percentage and 75 percentage 100 percentage okay already i have applied that zero as a zero percentage now i applied that 25 percentage 3.75 okay select okay and click the send now you can see that value how much you will be received on the dgs side 3.75 as a 25 percentage now i want to make that for a 50 percentage it means 7.5 so just enter that your value for 50 percentage click ok and click send now you can see the display side you are showing the value as a 7.5 for 50 percentage for 75 percentage i enter that value in advanced config select the simulation value 11 11.25 as a 75 percentage now i enter the value click send now it is the value will show in this year's room as a 11.25 for 75 percentage now i want to make that 100 percentage enter that 15 this is a maximum range urv means upper range value i enter the value 15 bar send and come to back go to the connector that the dcs side will show 15 bar okay so now i make it over range of this transmitter 15 point 16 okay 16 as a over range let okay click send you can See that the DCS side, DCS room or control room, there is a 16 bar. I want to make the normal, go to the 0, select 0, send. Okay. Now it is showing that normal, come to that automatically from 0. Now go to that simulation deactive mode, because it will take as a normal also. So now you can see that value now this value will change now this is the actual line pressure showing okay so this is a loop test procedures now I am showing now come to back and come to back come to back and go to back now almost finished okay this loop test is finished now I make now I make the back. Now we have come to that home page. Now I make the switch of this communicator. Switch off the communicator. Select the power button and click en enter. Shut down. Now it is uh, shut down. And now you should be disable, disconnect that co communication and put the back cover. Now I put the cover here. ಬೇಟ and come to that back side here the back terminal cover already we have connected that uh, communicator probe i disconnect this one and putting the back cover closing properly now this this is our final loop test has been completed okay so for now you want to any information about the field bus please subscribe on our our website and subscribe on our YouTube page. Thanks for watching this video.